Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be continuing in my makeup collection series and I know a lot of people want the eyeshadow palette collection to come up right now but today I just do not have time to film it. I have a ton, ton. I have so many eyeshadow palettes that just today it would not be feasible and I wanted to get a video up for y'all. So today we are going to be working with a little bit smaller of a category just so I can get it done pretty quickly and have it edited and up pretty quickly. So for today's category we are going to be going over my setting powders and my finishing powders. They, I don't have too too many of them but that's a good thing because hopefully this video will be somewhat quicker. So if you're interested in seeing what kind of powders I have in my collection, keep on watching. All right, y'all, so once again, my hand might be a little shaky. Like this is kind of the same same setup as last video. Uh, so this is my vanity. It's super, super cluttered right now. So I apologize about that. But let's get into the different powder products that I have. So first up is one that I don't use super, super often, but I got it at TJ Maxx for a really good price. And this is from Bare Minerals. And it's actually really great for on the go because of this nice hard um, plastic compact. It's really travel friendly and the powder doesn't really break too easily. Also there's a matte option and a glow option. So I really do enjoy that, that there are you know two different ones to choose from. So if I'm feeling more dewy one day, I can go for this one and if I just, if it's in the middle of the summer and I need some mattifying powder, then I have the option. Um, I really do enjoy this. I just don't reach for it as much just because I don't... <laughs> my dog's collar is jingling in the background. I don't reach for it as often as I should just because I usually don't go for pressed powders as much. I often just reach for a loose powder just because I like to set my under eyes with a loose powder. That's just my preference. But for on the go, for touch-ups, this is absolutely perfect. And I actually really do enjoy the glow powder. It's kind of similar to an hourglass powder. I do think the hourglass powders are much better, but for the price tag, this is actually a great, great option. So if you see this at TG Maxx, I would highly recommend. The next powder you probably recognize from some of my other videos that I've posted so far, just because this is the one I reach into the most. This is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. And this powder, you get so much in here. I mean, I've gone through a whole lot. I've probably gone through half of this, but this is the only one I've ever had. And I got this like probably six months ago, maybe more. I mean, it's taking me forever to get through this. And I don't even know if I've actually gone through half. It might be a little less than half. So I foresee this being with me for a very long time and I don't think I'll have to repurchase it anytime soon, but it's super cheap. I mean, it was like eight bucks from Kroger, I believe. That's awesome. And the fact that it's a drugstore product, I got it at the grocery store. It's just wonderful. It's super finely milled. It feels wonderful underneath the eyes. The only thing that I would say is that it smells like baby powder or kind of like a grandma. I don't know. Something in between a grandma and baby powder is the only way I could say it. I've gotten used to the scent, but it's it took me a little bit to get used to it. I will give you a forewarning on that. But if you can get past it, this is a beautiful, beautiful powder. It looks airbrushed underneath the eyes. It's just, it works super well. For the price, it really can't be beat super happy with this definitely will repurchase whenever i run out which i don't know when that's gonna be but definitely going to buy it again and definitely definitely recommend another drugstore option that i use super often also i have repurchased this i think three times i have one other that's almost gone this is the one that's mostly full um yeah, I'm really bad about that. I open up new things. I, I need to stop that. I need to use it up fully, then open it. But since this is so affordable, I went ahead and opened it up just because I was baking that day. So I needed a lot of powder for a look. But this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and Fair 05. I love this powder. For under eyes, it's not my favorite favorite. Again, the Cody Airspun is definitely what I would gravitate to gravitate to 
underneath my eyes. But this one has a little bit of luminosity to it and a tad bit of coverage. So this is perfect for baking. If you need to really sculpt out your cheeks, if you need to... You itchy, Baxter? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm back because he stopped itching. But yeah, this powder is wonderful for baking. It adds a little bit of coverage. It really looks airbrushed on the skin. It just, it's wonderful for carving out cheekbones. I love it. And this is more of my Instagram powder. So if I'm doing a look for Instagram, I would most likely reach for this. But for my everyday, again, I would use the other one, Cody Airspun. But definitely a great, great drugstore product. Super affordable and works beautifully. All right, keeping with the affordable powders, this next one, as you can probably tell from looking at it, I don't, I haven't used it much. And surprisingly, yeah, you don't get that much product in there, so this is me not using it that much. This is the e.l.f. HD powder. I just kind of find it a little bit drying underneath my eyes. It's just okay. And it's definitely more uh, pigmented. I usually like, I, I go for a more translucent kind of powder. It's it's also a little bit luminous, but as you can see from the little bit of sparkle in there, but I, I don't know. It just doesn't come off the best on my skin. Um, I have heard that some people do like this powder, but it's just not my favorite. But I do like to keep it in my collection just for comparison and to remind me that I've purchased it before because if I don't have something with me in my collection, I'll be like, oh, cool, new product to try from the drugstore, and then I'll buy it. A thousand times realizing oh crap I've already bought this before and I didn't like it so <sighs> I hate myself sometimes <laughs> but anyway so yeah this is just okay I'll just say that it's okay definitely some better options out there like the ones I just previously stated all right this is my last affordable option before we get into the more luxury brands. So this one I got at TJ Maxx. This is the Pixie by Petra. This is the, let's see, quick fix powder in translucent. So it is a translucent powder. It's definitely mattifying. Also, this packaging is super cute because it comes with a mirror on the top. So you can just kind of put it in your purse and go. And it has a sponge applicator. And there's a little hole in there that actually like has, it allows, whoop, it allows the powder to come through. I don't know if you can see, like when I bounce it, the powder's coming out a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but it's applying the powder to my finger. And I love the little sponge applicator just because you can just directly put it on your skin and just mattify certain areas that you want and you don't have to carry any other sponge or any kind of tool in your purse. This powder itself is not my favorite powder ever, but for a quick fix, I would 100% recommend this. This is not something that I would recommend putting all over your face to set your makeup, but for what it says, it's a quick fix powder. It works very, very well. Stick this in your purse when you go out to a bar during the summertime or basically anywhere in the summertime if you get oily like me, and it'll be a great saver. I mean, it really does work well for what it is advertised for. Just do not set your face with it. I didn't like the way it looked completely all over my face. It just got a little bit cakey, but for a quick fix, yep, 10 out of 10. Uh, I know I probably said, I'm probably rambling, but I just, I recommend it, okay? <laughs> and also, I've, I said this before, I found it at TG Maxx. This was really cheap. I got it for maybe five dollars, if that. So if you can, if you find this at TJ Maxx, I would hundred percent recommend getting it from there because then you'll get a discount. So that's always good. All right. So as far as a pressed powder, this is the last pressed powder in my collection that I have. That's just for the face. Um, that's not a highlighter, like the ColourPop one. It says it was a pressed powder, but it's really in fact a highlighter. This one is from MAC Cosmetics. This is the next to nothing powder and it is in shade light. I'm gonna open it up, let's see. So as you can see, I have used quite a bit of this. This is actually my second one. 
The other one might be a little bit different, um, but I'll show you the difference in just a second. But I've hit major pan on this. I really enjoyed this. Definitely um, in my earlier stages of makeup, before I actually set my under eyes, I used this all over the face all the time. I recommend this still for all over the face, but not as much for setting the under eyes. And that's what I use powder most for. I don't want to put too much powder on my skin, but I really do love this. And I still, I still do like it. It's just, I don't reach for it as often anymore. But my early days of makeup, this was a holy grail product. So the other one that I have from MAC is a Studio Care Blend pressed powder. I'm not too sure what the difference, this is also in light. I think when I was buying it, I was running out of one and I needed to repurchase and then later realized that it wasn't the same. So I honestly can't tell you which one I like better. I think I like the Care Blend better because obviously, look at this pan. I mean, I really used the crap out of this product. I still like it, but again, I don't reach for it as often just because pressed powder is not my go-to anymore. But both of these worked really well for me. And yeah, I'll have to try a newer one because this is so old. Maybe it's just kind of lost some of its luster and maybe I just need to try it again. But I mean, these two, you can tell by how much I've hit pan on these that they were very well loved. So just so you see, I have the other Maybelline Fit Me. This one is the almost empty one. I just need to go ahead and finish it up and then throw it away. But I just have a problem with throwing things away. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that's the other one. And then, all right. So up next, we have a loose powder. This is from Ciate London. And I love the cute little bow. I love the packaging. Ciate London has great packaging. And you can see this is almost empty. I mean, super, super close. I'll show you how much is left. Not very much at all. I need to empty that out. But I actually really did enjoy this powder so, so much. I got this in a BoxyCharm and I could not stop using it. I mean, you can tell, but I have such a problem. When I get to the end, I don't wanna finish it. I really don't because then it's out of my collection and then I have to rebuy it. Then it's a lot of money, but this is such a good powder. I really enjoyed this just so much. Um, I will show you, we did get another setting powder from Ciate London in a BoxyCharm recently. And this is the Everyday Vacay version. It's the coconut setting powder. I did not like this one as much as I did the Extraordinary powder. That's what this one is, the Extraordinary Translucent Powder. This one was 10 out of 10, I loved. The coconut one is good, but just okay. Not my favorite. Coconut products are a little iffy for me. Sometimes my skin doesn't love it and it doesn't really smell like coconut at all. But they're both really finely milled and they look really good. Just, I'm not a coconut face product person, but uh, I don't know. There wasn't too, too much of a difference with the look of it, but I just prefer the regular extraordinary powder to the vacay one. So just, you know, whichever your preference is. If you like, if you really do like the coconut, I would try the everyday vacay. But if you're like me and don't really want coconut anywhere near your face, Ciate London, extraordinary powder great options. One more product I got from BoxyCharm, which I, would, I do want to mention, is the Becca Hydra Mist. Yeah, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I got a lot of use out of this. You can see there's not much left in here. This one's, I'm just gonna have to open it up. So this one is really different. I just opened it up so I could show what it is like on the inside. Keep me closed, keep me cool. And when you open it up, it has this little net here, which was super confusing when I got this because I had never seen that before on any kind of powder product. But it just feels like, I don't know, right now it kind of lost the coolness a little bit, I think just because it's older and I've had it and I've used most of it up. So I think maybe that's why, but brand new, when you touch this, it felt cold but in a cool way. I mean, it almost felt like water. It felt like you were dipping your sponge in water and then putting it on your face. And for the summertime, that is an amazing thing for me because I, 
because I do not like to overheat. So this powder, it was a saving grace where I could just kind of put it on my face, cool it down. I really enjoyed this. As far as how it set my face, it looked good. It wasn't my favorite look ever. Oop, I'm out of focus. Yeah, the mirror's messing with it. It was not my favorite look for the under eyes, but the fact that it was a cooling powder, I like to put it all over my face for the summertime, and that's why this got so, so much use. Um, but yeah, under eyes, not my favorite. Uh, for the rest of the face, it was pretty good though. Sorry that <laughs> my filming was all over the place with that, but hopefully I'll do better moving on. <laughs> so, Next is probably, if you've ever watched Beauty YouTube, this is it. This is the girl. This is Laura Mercier. She is that girl. She is that, that bitch, you know? Um, but what can I say about this? I've gone through a big one and two minis of this. I love this powder. I really do. But this was before I tried the Cody Airspun. That is such a cheap option. I really do love this Laura Mercier powder, but I cannot bring myself to spend the money on this when I do, in fact, like the Cody Airspun. Maybe this one looks a tad more airbrushed, but just for that little bit of kick to my look, do I really want to spend that extra money? I don't know. I might repurchase this after it is gone just so I have it in my collection because I really do love it. And for special occasions, I'll use it, but... For every day, I just go through so much powder that I just I would feel like wasteful if I just keep kept repurchasing this. So, long story short, I really love this. It's a beautiful powder on the skin, and I would highly recommend it. I really do. If money is not a not a problem for you, this is a great great powder. Okay, great great powder. But for the money, I would just go with one of the drugstore options. Honestly, I just. It pains me to say that because I love Laura Mercier. I love the products. It's so, it, it, the powder looks so good, but it's just so expensive. So the next uh, loose setting powder that I have, this is my last one of the loose setting powders. And this is the Cover FX powder. And this is the little baby one. I used a lot of this as well. And I've also repurchased this many times. So this is the perfect setting powder. And this is the light one. I think maybe it's light to medium. For some reason, I don't see it saying on the bottom. It's just whatever the lightest shade is, that's what this is. But I got this uh, from a recommendation from Porcelain, uh, Porcelain Cosmetics here on YouTube. Bridget, she's awesome. I watch a lot of her videos. Uh, she does a lot of Jeffree Star reviews and just a lot of palette reviews, which I really love to watch. She is a awesome person and I just I love to watch her and I really trust her recommendations so I went out and got this and I do really love this powder it's great now just like the Laura Mercier one I don't think I would spend that much money this one's a little less than the Laura Mercier but I just don't think I can bring myself to buy a big one of this when I have the Cody Airspun that's for eight dollars and I love it so same issue with that one, but it looks beautiful on the skin. She was not wrong. It's a great powder. I just cannot bring myself to spend the money. I would just, my priorities are different in makeup. I would rather spend the money on a great bronzer, foundation, eyeshadow palette, the powder. To me, a powder can be a powder, to just to an extent. There are some powders that look horrible, but a lot of powders make your skin look fine and beautiful and as long as I look be I feel like I look beautiful I'm good with it so the cheaper alternative is a-okay with me but this is a great powder and I still would recommend it uh, if you haven't tried it go ahead and try it out because this was one of her tried and trues for a very long time and it is great and I, I have repurchased it multiple times and I still might repurchase it but I definitely recommend it yep all right, the very last powder that I have is a pressed powder, and this one is a little bit different than my others. This last powder is the only one I have of its kind, really, other than 
briefly the one I showed you in the bare minerals one in the beginning, but this is the best of the best in my opinion. If you're looking for a finishing powder that just makes your makeup look super luxurious and airbrushed and it just wraps the whole thing together, this is it. This is what you need. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and it is in luminous light. If it would focus, hello. It's, this is the ambient lighting powder in luminous light. I have hit so much pan on this. I mean, you can see the bottom for sure. Like, wow. And it has that little bit of sparkle in there. I don't know if it would show on camera or not. It's not really picking up on camera, but it has a slight luminosity to it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now you can see it. The glitter in there. It's so fine. I do not feel like I have glitter on my face when I wear it. It is just the perfect amount of sparkle that it just catches the light in such a beautiful way when it's all over your face that it just makes you look like you're glowing, like this soft glow. I have not experienced that with any other product and I am absolutely going to be repurchasing this. I just haven't bitten the bullet on it just because I don't want to spend the money on it right now. You can imagine just the situation with the world right now, things are, you know, tighter. So when I can, I will be repurchasing this. This is one of my favorite things in my collection of my of my entire collection. Like if I had uh, had to start all over repurchasing makeup stuff, makeup stuff, makeup products. If I had to repurchase makeup products, this would be one of them because it can take an okay makeup day and just amp it up. It just looks so luxurious on the skin and it feels great, long wearing, uh, 10 out of 10 recommend. I just love it. And this is the little baby size. I feel like I might, since I use it almost every day, I might just go with the bigger size. I feel like this is one of those products that I actually do need the bigger uh, the bigger pan. So this was the mini and it's not too, too expensive, but I do feel like I'm, I might actually just go for the big one because I need it. I just need it in my life. <laughs> but yeah, so that was that. Uh, 10 out of 10 recommend. Hourglass products are usually on the more luxury end, uh, but the single powders, I just, they're so good. They're, I know they're hyped up, but there's a reason for that. They're just so, so good. All right, y'all, so that was it. That was my setting powders and my finishing powders that I have in my collection. If you have tried any of these and you love them and have anything else to say about recommendations or maybe some suggestions for something that I don't have that you really do love and you wanna to recommend to me, I am so open to hearing about it. I just would love a discussion and to try new products. That's what I want from this, is just want to start a conversation about what you use. Maybe I could try some new brands. I'd, I love trying new products, so just shoot me those suggestions in the comments section down below. And please smash that like button. Please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the absolute world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. I am a new creator. I This is what I really would love to do. And if you do like me, please support me and you know try to sub subscribe to my channel watch some videos maybe go down below i have linked my other previous makeup collection videos down below and please go check out my channel see if you like anything that i do so yeah i'm weird and i'm rambling but hopefully you're into that <laughs> anyways i hope y'all are staying safe out there this time is absolutely crazy i know just in my personal life have been having a lot going on right now. Uh, just, it, it's an interesting time in the world right now. And I just really, really hope that you're staying safe out there and happy and healthy. And just please be kind to one another. This time is for kindness, just wherever you can do it. Just even if it's complimenting someone on an Instagram photo, trying to brighten up someone's day, Sending someone you love a text, just reminding them of how much you appreciate them in your life. Just now is definitely a time to spread some kindness. So please keep that in mind. Please stay safe and healthy out there. That's the end of my little, you know, I don't know. 
<laughs> but I hope you have a great day and a great rest of your week. And I hope that I will see you in one of my upcoming videos. So, bye. <laughs> I'm standing on the edge of a cliff. Realize there must be more to life than this. Reaching for the stars, traveling so far. Dragonfly Just grab my hand From him sin